we want to say good morning to everyone. Happy Thanksgiving Day. May God bless you and keep you. Amen. We we just want to share a few words of encouragement um, on this day, a day of gratitude where we should really offer appreciation to our Creator and Sustainer, who is only Him, God Creator and Sustainer. Amen. Um, it's, it's good to have a desire to praise Him and to be thankful for all that He has done for us. Amen. We just don't want to enjoy the goodness of His creation, but we also want to express our appreciation to Him for sharing His goodness to us and for us. Amen. We, we are going to um, use just for a thought today to encourage all of God's people, amen, how awesome it is to have a hunger and desire, amen, to express our services to him and for him as he has served us through the eons of time. Uh, our thought for today is going to be uh, called and chosen to serve Elohim, God, the Holy Spirit, with gladness and thanksgiving. A sermon theme was going to be uh, Psalms 100, 1 through 5. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all you land. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with thanksgiving. Amen. And, and come with singing, knowing, perceive, recognize, and understand with approval that the Lord is Elohim God, Jehovah, uh, that provides for us. He is He. It is He who has made us and not we ourselves. We are His handiwork. We are His workmanship. We are His people and the sheep of His pastor. We should enter into his gates with thanksgiving and thanks of offering unto him and his courts with love, praise, and worship. We must be thankful and say to him, bless and affectionate you have been to us. We praise your holy name. For the Lord is good, y'all. His mercy and loving kindness are everlasting. His faithfulness and truth endure to all generations. Hallelujah. Then I want to tie in another Psalms. Psalms 24, it says, The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they who dwell in it. For he has founded it upon the seas and established, amen, it upon the currents and the rivers. Who shall go into the mountains of the Lord or who shall stand in his holy place? He that has clean hands, and a pure heart, mind, and soul, who has not lifted up himself up to fashion of falsehood or to what is false, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive the blessings from the Lord and the righteousness from the Elohim God created salvation of our salvation. Warriors, this is the generation of those who seek him, who inquire and are for him, and necessity require him, who seek your face, O oh, hell of God, we do seek you, Jacob, Selah. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be lifted up your everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord mighty in strength, the Lord who is awesome in all that he does, the Lord who has shown forth his Shekinah glory to each of us. May we give him praise as we ponder on how good he has been to us on this day not just any other day but this day because this is day is a special day a day of thanksgiving lift up your heads O ye gates lift them up your everlasting doors that the king of glory shall come in who is this king of glory the lord of hosts he is the king of glory hallelujah then i want to share another psalms with you Amen. As we come to serve him with praise and worship. Oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arms have wrought salvation for him. The Lord has made known his salvation. 
His righteousness has he openly shown in the sight of the nations. He has honorably remembered his mercy and loving kindness, his truth and his faithfulness towards the house, not only of Israel, but each of us. All the ends of the earth has witnessed the salvation of our God. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth and sing for joy. Yes, sing praises, sing praises to the Lord of hosts. Amen. With the lyric and the voice of melody, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Make a joyful noise before the King of kings, the Lord of lords. Let the sea roar and all that fills it, the world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands together. Let the hills sing for joy before the Lord, for he is coming to judge and he is an awesome God. Let the earth be filled with his glory and his righteousness. Let our hearts and minds be filled with his Shekinah glory, that we might bring forth glory to him in all that we say and do. Choose today whom we're going to serve. We're going to serve him because he reigned. Let the people tremble with, before him with reverence, fear, and, and amen, and as he sat upon his throne. The Lord is great in Zion. He's great in our earth. He's great in our hearts. He's great in our families. He's just great and awesome in all that he do. Let them confess and praise you, O great Jehovah. Awesome and reverence we all to offer unto you, inspired by your holy presence within us. O Lord, you are awesome and mighty in all that you say and do. Therefore, we come before you, amen, bowing down in humbleness to praise you because you are a mighty God. May all the earth come before him and praise his name because he is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Then, warriors, as we move forward, we must serve him with gladness, the gladness, amen, that he has put in us. Serve ye this day, amen, the Lord with gladness and with reverency, amen. Receive the Lord and confess and know that he is the only true and living God. He is our creator, he is our sustainer, he is our shepherd, he is our guide, he cares for us because of we his sheep, therefore we ought to enter into his presence, amen, each day, each now moment, amen, because we are his and he is ours with a thankful heart, he is worthy to be praised, he is a good and awesome God, a loving God, a kind God who never fell at us because he's just faithful beyond imagination, let every generation may be and begin to praise him because he is our sustainer because he has proved himself to be faithful we must acknowledge the Lord amen in all that we say and do we must seek him amen because he desire that we he have holy intimacy with us we must seek him beyond measures we must keep our hands and lift up our hands and our hearts with holy praise because he desired a pure praise and we have been sanctified to praise him from a heart that is filled with pure. Somebody ought to say amen wherever you are. Warriors, we come again to praise him and offer thanksgiving because amen. He says to you and I, he would have no other God before us because he's God and God all by himself. Hallelujah. Amen. Christian Bible students, it is a practical thing with good sense and common sense to praise the Lord in all that we say and do. We must praise him as kingdom builders. We must praise him, amen, as families and fathers and mothers. We must praise him as children and youth. We must praise him from the rising of the sun until the end of the day. We must praise him, amen, in all and how we serve him. By serving him, we serve mankind. We serve each other. We serve him. Whatever your assignment is in the earth, you ought to praise him and your attitude and behavior. No matter where you are, when you are, in the storms, you ought to praise him. In your trials and tribulations, you ought to praise him. And hallelujah. You ought to show that the Lord has captured your heart and you have surrendered to him and he's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. And then, warriors, we ought to praise him because he desired, amen, to bless us. Amen. 
it with healing because the more we praise him, the greater the healing is. The more we praise him, the greater the strength is. The more we praise him, the greater and more awesome the service is. The more we praise him, the greater he shepherd us into a greater intimacy with him. The more we praise him, warriors, hallelujah, is that we become more like him. The more we praise him, the more we develop his image and we and who we are as children of who he is. Yeah. Uh, the more we praise him, somebody ought to praise him wherever you are today. The more we praise him, the more we hunger for him and become more like him in all that we do. No matter what the darkness come against us or how great it is, the image of who he is is greater than that. And that's why we should praise his holy name. Amen. We ought to praise him with a glad heart and a thankful heart. We ought to praise him. Amen. Not only with a, a thankful heart, but we ought to praise Praise him, hallelujah, in the midst of a, 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 of a world that is filled with, amen, promiscuities and, and, and deadly uh, uh, viruses that has conquered the souls of men. We ought to praise him because the enemy is trying everything he can to do to separate us from praising his name. Hopefully, amen, we can make a little bit of sense here with you today as we offer this moment of praise and service. Somebody praise him. And then I want to, amen, say one more thing to you before I get out of here. In praising him, there ought to be a thank you attitude within us. We should always express thankfulness and praises to God, not just routinely, but consistently. Amen. We ought to do it continually. The reason we ought to praise him, we ought to remember what he has done for us. He has done marvelous things, great things, awesome things. We ought to praise him because of what he did for you and I on a hill called Calvary. We ought to praise him by telling us how great he is and what he has done. We ought to praise him, amen, just by the, amen, the, the vibration of who he is through us and in us and about us. We praise him because he has shown forth his glory to us, no, amen, and no matter what it's all about because that is a gift that he has given us and the gift is that, amen, we have been chosen to serve him and praise him. And warriors, I want to encourage you, no matter how deep it gets, how awesome it gets in your life, amen, your victory is praising him to show the world that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Somebody ought to praise him right there. We ought to praise him and show forth, amen, amen, that, amen, we are more, not only more than conquerors, amen, but we can walk through any kind of situation. We can walk through the darkness, the roaring of the enemies that come against us. We praise him. We should not walk in defeat. We ought to walk and praise because we really appreciate who he is and what he has done for you and I. Amen. Showing and offering the gift of praise and thank you. Amen to him. Thankfulness, amen, ought to be a major ingredient of who we are in all of our relationship, amen, no matter what comes at you, no matter how you are discouraged, no matter how somebody, amen, mean mug you, that's another problem we got in the earth right now. Everybody talking about people mean mug and different that is going on. People talking about nobody don't care, amen, even if you feel lonely, open your mouth and give him praise, no matter what, amen, it be lifting you, pray Praise him anyhow because you are greater than that. You ought to praise him, amen, not only with your relationship with him and each other. And when you face people who you consider to be enemies or downtrodden or whatever it is, you ought to praise him, amen, because you are called, amen, to praise him with a spirit of gladness. And we just did a little bit on praise. Now I want to talk to you about service. And whatever you do in service, serve the Lord with gladness. Amen. If nobody else serve him, you serve him. Deny yourself daily. Pick your cross up and follow him. Let the world know that the Lord is your light and your salvation. Let the world know that, amen, that, amen, that he has conquered, amen, your soul and captured you and you have become a full-blown, amen, prayer of praise warrior for him. Serve him, amen, by feeding the homeless, feeding, a, amen, those who are left fortunate enough 
Feed him by praying for your enemy. Feed, amen, serve him by praying for your enemy. Serve him, amen, by the disappointments, amen. Even when disappointments hit you, praise God anyhow, because disappointment should not be a conqueror of who you are. You ought to praise his holy name. Somebody praise him one more time in this earth. And the other thing we ought to do, we ought to praise him because of his characteristics that he has put in you. Eye, and we are a Christian. Somebody shout amen. And warriors, I want to tell this to all of us, no matter how great the politics that comes about, no matter how dangerous it looks in this earth, no matter what goes on, wars and rumors of wars, no matter how prophecy is being fulfilled, amen, we are to serve the Lord, reach out, and want, I want to do another piece to you, the harvest is plenteous, but the labors are few, we are to go into the vineyard praising God, we are to go into the vineyard dressed in praise, dressed in agape love, dressed in long suffering, go into the vineyard, washed with the blood of the the lamb go into the vineyard and say come see a man who has set me through we are going to the vineyard with a word from the lord and how we have a word from the lord y'all we are to go out there because we are meditating on his word day and night we are called upon him and he has answered our prayers and when we meditate on his word day and night and the holy word and the holy bread the bible the holy word the, the living water get inside of you and i then out of our belly should flow living water somebody on the shop right there and praise my holy father and as I move forward y'all out of amen not only are we to rejoice amen and praise him and with thanksgiving but we also ought to serve him by showing the world the power of his love no matter how dim, dim it looks and no matter how amen your struggles are you amen it shouldn't have amen a conquering spirit over you because you are greater than that somebody praise his name right there and the other part I want to do y'all amen we ought to be thankful amen not only for that but the effects that he can have in our lives because we have been chosen to have Holy Ghost impact and whatever we do when we come together amen to worship him as spirit and in truth warrior we ought to come amen dressed in praise dressed in appreciation it ought to be so thick on us that it's a kind of glory wherever we go if we in the marketplace somebody ought to see that we're serving a true and a living God. If we, amen, is in is in a lion's den situation, if, if, if we're in the, the weather, worst weather the spiritual storm that is, they ought to be able to see that we can walk through that storm with the Shekinah glory of God glowing in the storm. Somebody praise him right there. On this Thanksgiving day, I encourage everybody, amen, to, amen, not only to dine on your natural food, but to dine on your Holy Ghost food, amen, that be I be in there. So when you dying on the Bible, God will put some ingredients within you and you will catch the vision. Somebody talk to me right there. Your conversation will shift, amen, to a heavenly conversation. Your demeanor will shift to a heavenly demeanor. Somebody praise him wherever you are. Your demeanor, amen, not always shift to a heavenly demeanor, amen. You become a great warrior for God. It's a sad indictment against a holy God that we have a holy word and that is more powerful than any word that a person can utter, amen. Amen. If we meditate on it day and night, we ought to speak and the demons ought to tremble. Somebody praise him right there. We ought to speak and people come running saying, who is this great God that you serve? We ought to be able to speak. Somebody praise him right there. And the next thing I want to share with you, Lord, help us today. There is a spiritual disease moving through the earth, y'all. Bad behavior, amen. But we are more greater than that, amen. Arrogant ideologies, we are greater than that. Bad politics, bad government, but don't let that hold you down, amen. No matter where you are, you ought to take up your praise and walk with God along the way. Somebody talk to me right there, amen. And I want to go on and tell you one more thing. And not only that, we ought to praise Him, but we ought to go back to serving. Serve God with gladness. It's a sad indictment in all that God has done for people. Hey, when we get to the worship services on Sunday, wherever your church is and whoever you are, you ought to wake up with a prayer in your heart, a praise on your mind because God has done magnificent things for us. When we come together, the praise ought to be so thick in the atmosphere. If we are true children of God, somebody talk to me right there. Amen. Serving God
God is not only just in worship service, but when we hit the marketplace, we ought to serve God. We ought to be so caught up in him, so, amen, endorsed by who he is. Wherever we go, people ought to take notice of who we are. Somebody praise him right there. I dare you to, amen, to turn the plate over and spend a moment praising God on this great Thanksgiving day. Somebody shout to me right there. The next thing I want to do, amen, and not only that, amen, we ought to praise him and, 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 and we are serving the lowest of jobs. Praise him anyhow, amen. If we are serving the highest of jobs, no matter what your location is in among humanity, amen, you ought to serve God with praise. You ought to serve God humbly. You ought to reach down to the lows and pick them up. You ought to be there to, with a word of encouragement to somebody. Somebody shout to me right there and praise my father because he is an awesome God. And the last thing I want to do, we ought to praise him for who, what he has done on a hill called Calvary. Somebody shout to me right there. And before I get out of here, y'all, amen, we ought to let the world know the Lord is our light and our salvation. We ought to let the Lord know he is our great shepherd. We ought to let the world know he is our living bread. He is our living water. Somebody talk to me wherever you are. We ought to let the world know. Somebody shout amen. He is amen. Amen. Our true vine and the Father is a vine dresser. He is the image of how we do business. Somebody praise him right there. And before I get out of here, one more thing I want to tell you. Amen. Each day when you lay night, when you lay down, lay down with praise in your heart. When you wake up in the morning, I don't care what pain you have in your natural body, you ought to wake up with amen, praise in your heart. Somebody praise him right there. And then before I move on, the other part I want to do is we need to teach our children, amen, the, the art of praising God, the art of serving God. We ought to be able to teach our children, amen, don't worry about bullying. Don't let anybody bully you not to praise God, not to serve God. Talk to me right there. We ought to make our children, amen, and teach them, and, 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 amen, inject it to them and infuse them and, and strengthen them with the ability, amen, to walk circumspectly before God. Our children ought to have the ability, amen, to praise God at a young age or old age whatever the condition is we ought to praise God anyhow somebody talk to me right there amen I gotta come back to the children y'all amen the children need to come off of these all these type of games and this and that amen but when a child amen put God as their number one priority their children put God as the one y'all that can serve him amen and, and, and to serve him when our children have this desire in them amen no matter what field or area they go into their life, they are to carry, amen, the continency of God, the image of God, the prayers of God, the praise to God. Wherever they go, somebody ought to be able to, God want our children to be able to reflect who he is. And somebody praise him right there. Our children cannot live life in its fullest until we live with God. Many times we have all of this going on and all of that going on, but when our children come back home to God and begin to praise him, they begin to live life in its fullness. Amen. David was a little boy. Amen. Out there tending his father's sheep. Amen. And amen. He didn't worry about the wolves coming because God has strengthened David to deal with the wolves. And we teach our children how to serve God with gladness and humbleness and praise. When the wolves are trying to conquer our children and cause them to go the bad way in life, our children have the resources to fight them all. Amen. They can fight them off and then they'll enhance their praise life. Amen. David was out there. Amen. Tending his father's sheep. Amen. And they, the lions would come and roar. And sometimes there are things roaring against our children. But I dare you to encourage your children to populate them with the power of God and the anointing of God and the word of God. And watch our children walk in fullness. Too many children never meet their amen assignment on this earth because they are pointed in the wrong direction. Somebody talk to me right there. Too many young girls never meet their, amen, their full potential because they're pointed in the right direction. Too many young boys uh, they'll never meet their full attention. They're pointed in the right direction. God might have put you on this earth to be the president of the United States of America. Put you on this earth to be the secretary of state. Put you on this earth to be a great researcher, a great scientist, or whatever. Amen. And you ought to serve God with praise. And whatever God has for you, I'm a firm believer. When you praise him the right way,
way and serve him the right way, he will make a way out of no way for you. He will verify your assignment. He will verify what you got. he got for you to do in this earth. Somebody ought to praise him wherever you are. So many children come on this earth and they never feel, feel their purpose because we channel them the wrong direction in life. We channel them to a boyfriend, girlfriend. That's fine, y'all. But our children need to know have a boy, boyfriend, amen, a friend like Jesus. Somebody talk to me right there. Too many times we challenge our children this way and that way. Live your life. I'm telling y'all, you can't live your life in this fullness without living it with our children. So we need to serve God by rearing the children right. Even when they become adults, rear them right. Somebody praise God. Teach them that the world is out there to destroy them. The world is out there to conquer them. The world is out there to shame God. I need somebody to praise him right there. And I'm about to get out of here. And I hope I try to make some sense to you, amen, on the spur of the moment here. But I want to tell you, amen, you, we, we are designed, amen, to represent God. We are his ambassador. Somebody talk to me right there. And I don't know about anybody here, amen, that might be listening to me. We should make our minds up. The world ain't going to make me shame God. I'm not going to let self make me shame God. No matter where I am, I'm going to shame God. And now before I leave, amen, I got to come back to David. No matter what David encountered, because he had this relationship with God as a young boy, his Goliaths didn't conquer him. He still praised God by slaying the Goliaths in his life and serving God. He, no matter what came his way, amen, he made mistakes. Many people make mistakes. But one thing he did, he had a service of repentance in his life. Somebody talk to me right there. Unless we repent unto salvation, we can't praise God right. Somebody praise him right there. And the last point I want to make, y'all, the reason we ought to praise God because, amen, we was on deathbed of sin. Sin, amen, was an energy that had us. But one day, God sent forth his son named Christ, born of a virgin Mary. Somebody talk to me. In a city of, amen, of Bethlehem called the city of bread. Somebody praise him right there. And what God did y'all. He paid a debt. It was unusual. God was strange in how he do stuff. And we become peculiar. We become strange. But we are royalty. Amen. Chosen by God. And but they, they, Jesus did. Amen. He walked the dusty street. Belittled or talked about. They didn't understand his language when he was teaching. They didn't understand how he was doing things. Except for the ones that had the divine revelation in there. And when God shines his light in you. Amen. Your conversation become unusual. It become peculiar you become strange. Somebody praise God right there. When you begin to talk in the form of the Holy Spirit, it doesn't sound like natural stuff. Somebody talk to me right there. What we try to do y'all is to teach us how we should acknowledge God in service and how we serve him. Serve him as father. Serve him as mother. Serve him as, as kindred. Serve him as seniors in family. Serve him. Amen. Serve him. Serve him if you, whatever just time you got in the marketplace, serve God. Somebody praise him right there. It's not how cute you are in serving God. You got to serve God in a humble fashion. Amen. And when Jesus came, he wasn't good to look at. Most people don't like his conversation. Most people don't, don't like Jesus. Amen. Our, our, our teachings. And, and most people don't like how he present. Nobody. Most people don't like how he carry about. Most people don't like how he challenged the darkness that come against him. But I came by to tell somebody, amen, we must serve God as victorious people because we are winners. Somebody ought to praise his name wherever you Oh, somebody shout right there and say hallelujah, amen, wherever you are today, whatever you do, I found your meal today, before you do anything, before you cut your turkey, before you cut your hair, before you do whatever you do, open your mouth and give God praise. If you don't do nothing but just holler, holler anyhow, amen, as long as God can disciple in your, your moan and your groan and your holler, holler anywhere. Everybody else might think you're acting crazy, but in your heart, God knows you are offering a praise to him. That's what life is all about. Somebody praise him right there because Jesus came and he died. Somebody said he died. But early he got up on the Sunday morning with all power and hurt and hurt in his hand. That's why we praise him because when he got up and we've been crucified with him and we have resurrected with him, we ought to open our mouth and give God praise. Don't, don't try to be cute in your praise. Just praise him how he, ever, he moves in you to praise and make sure it's the unction of the Holy Spirit that is praising you. God bless you and keep you against that day. Somebody shout hallelujah. Well, 
some of you, uh, he got up early on that day, day and with all power in his hand. And what I'm telling you, you got power today to walk circumspectly before God, to praise God through your storms, your trials, your tribulation, to praise God when you're facing your giants and give God thanks, and to serve God and be more than a car. When people say you can't do it, show the world that you can do all things through Christ who strengthen you. Somebody praise him right there and shout hallelujah. He died, but early he got up with all power in heaven and earth in his hand. He's at the right hand of the Father. Now can we put our hands together and give God some praise up in this building? Amen. I'm done. Father, bless your people. Father, we try to put some points together let your people know how powerful it is. Let the points that we put together, Father, sift into them, Father, that they may have the strength and become victorious. And Father, when we become victorious, Father, we have this joy that's unspeakable joy. We have this peace that passes all understanding. Father, there's something unique about you, Father, that make us unique and peculiar. In the name of Jesus, hold us in your care, Father. We don't want to sensationalize you, but we want to walk with you, Father. Embrace us with holy intimacy, Father. Let the power who you are surge through us, Father, that when we fear face the world out there, Father, people can see the glow and the bubbling of who you are upon us and through us in the name of Jesus. And Father, let us, though we don't have to acknowledge that you are ours and we are yours, Father, when they see us, Father, and we read, they read this holy word, Father, they can see you in us and us in you, Father. They can see the image of the creator upon you, Father. Let us go through this earth, Father, bringing forth glory to you, Father, because at the end of the day, Father, we want to be able to say, and hear you say, oh, job well done. We love you today, Father. Bless everyone that might be able to hear this sermon, Father. The little bit that we try to put together in points, Father. The day we were trying to make points, Father, just points, tic-tac points, Father, that people can grab a hold of, Father, and put a whole cake together for their lives, Father, so they can enjoy life, Father. Bless your people, Father. Let them seek you, Father, and realize how powerful it is to walk with you along the way of life, Father. No matter what assignment they got in earth, Father, but Father, let us all teach our children and young people that come across our path, Father, that you they are special, Father, and that they have a special calling from you to serve you with spirit and in gladness, Father. In the name of Jesus, some might be great prayer warriors, some might be great missionaries, some might be presidents, senators, whatever, doctors, nurses, whatever assignment, Father, whatever assignment they got, Father, you got for them, Father. Let them fulfill their assignment, Father. Let them walk humbly with you, Father, and walk, let them walk in agreement with you in holy intimacy. We pray this prayer, decree and declare it, wash blood Father, wash with your holy blood. Wash, Father, wash, 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 wherever they are. In Christ's name we pray. Somebody shout amen, amen, and amen. Can we give God praise? You to do and how he will strengthen you and he will encourage you and he will be there for you. Amen. And David was a great psalmist and he praised God no matter what came his way. Even when he was favoring Goliath, when you're facing, facing your Goliaths in life, amen, I dare you to praise God. I dare you to challenge your Goliaths in your life with praise and worship. Challenge your Goliaths by meditating on the word of God day and night. Challenge your Goliaths, oh, hallelujah, by saying, for Christ I live, for Christ I will die. Challenge your Goliaths when they come your way. No matter which direction they come, God got guardian angels around you to watch over you. And, to, and they go in every direction so nothing can sneak up on you because nothing sneaks up on our Father. Walk with him along the way of life. And, amen. And enjoy life, Father. Teach your people that, that they can enjoy life beyond measures, Father. The world offers a, a counterfeit lifestyle, Father, but you got a real lifestyle. So let your people know that, Father, that they might be able, Father, to enjoy life. Too many of our children leave this earth before that time. Too many of our children, Father, they never fulfill that that awesome assignment, Father. You, you know, Father, let, let your children know, Father, how powerful it is to enjoy you and you enjoy them, Father, because you are the only one that can satisfy the soul. We decree and declare this petition, petition in the name of Christ. We pray and, de and declare this. Amen, amen, and amen. Keep your people, Father. And Father, before we leave, Father, we want to pray one more little simple prayer. So many people, Father, have been conquered by the ways of the world and darkness, Father. So many people people has been
been conquered by ungodly challenges, Father. But we decree and declare today that you can set them free, that they become great servants for you. In the name of Jesus, Father. So, Father, to verify within people, wherever he or she is on this planet called Earth, that, Father, you have an awesome, awesome, awesome plan for their life, Father. Awesome, awesome way of living. Awesome, awful blueprint for humanity, Father. Let them do that, Father. Enjoy you, Father. And they can get up in the morning, no matter what's going on, and enjoy you and you enjoy them. Because they know they walk in victory. Because everything we're challenged with, Father. Jesus dealt with it on a hill called Calvary. He's already whipped it. He's already dealt with it. In Christ's name, we decree and declare it is done, Father. We love you today. In Christ's name, we pray. Amen.